Hello. So, one of the issues of uh, guaranteeing content on a certain content schedule is that uh, you get held up with embargoes and things go wrong and you can't always guarantee it. So the only way by going live. So we're in Sicily. I've just landed. I've literally just stepped off the plane. Um, little do you guys know it that my Ferrari F12 TDF has been on a transporter uh, for the best part of a week, working its way down through Europe, down through Italy, and now it is here uh, in Palermo, Sicily, for the beginning of the Targa Florio. Uh, I'm here at a museum next door to the university, and I'm gonna give you a real live first-hand look um, behind the scenes of the Targa Florio during registration, uh, the kinds of cars which are taking part because there's both a tribute event and a actual racing event, um, which takes place with lots of classic cars. But first of all, uh, I'm, I'm gonna spin you around and we're gonna show you all of the cars which are taking part in the Ferrari tribute to the Targa Florio. First of all, for those of you guys who haven't heard about the Targa Florio or are wondering what it is, um, it was the oldest uh, sports car road race that existed at its time. It was originally founded in 1906. Um, Ferrari have been incredibly successful throughout the years in this series. Uh, it eventually came to an end and now, a little bit like the Mille Miglia, um, there is a tribute event uh, of which Ferrari is headed up with a lot more modern cars, hence me being surrounded by things like this. I mean, this is pretty cool because this, this has come down from HRO in Ferrari in London. Uh, look at this brand new. I'm not even sure if this car's actually turned a wheel yet, but to see a piece of spider, look at the sculpture on this, absolutely incredible. So while we are surrounded by cars from all over the world, we are also fortunate that I'll be able to cross paths with some familiar faces and friends from the UK. Now then, this is it. The main event, I've been dying to get this car actually out of the UK. The weather has just turned, it's not great. Uh, to have something so familiar, so far from home, is crazy. So I'm really, really excited about sharing this content with you, getting this car on a proper road trip. Uh, Sicily has some of the most incredible driving roads in the world. I've been doing some research on them. Uh, even though I will be sort of uh, affixed to a set driving route, which is retracing the steps of the original Targa Florio, um, I am out here for the best part of a week and I've brought down some camera help and I'm gonna be immersing you guys in all of these cars and what it's like to drive these amazing roads. Of course, Sicily being f famous for hosting Mount Etna, as it were. This is a uh, active volcanic island. Look at that, look at this piece that's absolutely beautiful. So yes, essentially over the next few days, uh, I'm gonna be taking you along firsthand on the Targa Floria. It won't be quite as firsthand as this. This is literally live as you are watching it right now. And um, I thought this would be a great opportunity for you to, to be able to ask questions. So normally I would ask questions up front, maybe on Instagram, and then I would answer them in future content. But here, I'm able to share it with you firsthand. So keep these, these questions coming. There's someone here watching from Australia. It's pretty weird for me to have landed just now uh, from the UK and to think that I can share this with you live in Australia. That's pretty crazy stuff. Anyway, while the, um, the crowd is beginning to disperse, I'm gonna be able to get up close and personal with a lot more of these cars. Check out this, this satin 812 Superfast. It looks so good in that scheme. So what's happening now is everyone is uh, going through registration and they're picking up their their sticker packs so these guys are applying the uh, transfers and stickers they've got their names on the side of the car letting you know who they are and from which country they originate and it's cool because it's a it's a full spectrum of modern day ferraris now in a minute we'll we'll show you over here where there's look check this out there's a casual fighter jet in the woods there but over here you can see the more classic section. So these are the cars which would have ran on the original Targa Florio and these are the tribute cars. So let's just go back over here. This is such a stealth pack. Look at this. Black on satin grey and this as well, this isn't a, you know, paint protection film on an otherwise normal paint job. This is a real satin paint from the factory and this detail, that is a hand painted 
shield. It's absolutely beautiful. If there's anything that needed PPF for protection, <laughs> it is that feature there. Wonderful thing. These guys will be loving life tomorrow morning when they're able to take off the roof. So tomorrow, uh, believe it or not, will actually be much busier than this. Uh, I've arrived the day before because I wanted to get a head start on registration. Uh, tomorrow there'll be queues out of the door. In a minute, I'll take you into the area where we sign on. Uh, but it's so cool that we're going to be retracing the steps of the original Targa Florio in some of the coolest Ferraris out there. This is really cool. I haven't actually seen this car anywhere online yet, but a pretty well-specced UK car. That is bold. Looks awesome. Very, very cool. So I'm going to get back to some of your comments while I'm here. We've got someone here saying that they're just doing a stint on the North Coast 500 in wet and windy weather that's a proper driver right there have a good time on the north coast 500 i remember taking delivery of my gt3 up there and cracking my windscreen within the first 40 miles so yeah be careful if you're uh tailing in any friends up there the uh, fallout of stones up there is pretty heavy going i have another f12 here from the uk 48 spider there i mean look specialia perta and a 488 Pista Spider next to each other in what looked to be very similar paint schemes, actually. Yeah, so the photography from this event I'm also excited about. What I'm hoping for is to be able to take the TDF near to a volcano and then basically take some incredible shots. Uh, as it happens, uh, there was a report, an Etna report uh, back uh, in the 19th of September where the volcano was really active it was really live and it was lighting up the night sky actually exploding um, I'm really hoping that we'll be able to get some cool shots of that but who knows because the schedule over the next few days is absolutely packed I saw someone a minute ago giving a shout out to the 599 GTO so here we are Swiss car unbelievable thing and in a minute I'll take you over to the classics that just so happens to be a pretty significant one here look at this this is amazing someone here is asking do james do i pr visually prefer the f12 tdf or the 812 super fast um not just saying this because i'm biased as an owner i really do prefer the looks of not only the f12 tdf but the the standard f12 versus the 812 i just think has more elegant and timeless lines i think the 812 is phenomenal right now i'm not sure how well it will stand the test of time i could be wrong it could be a grower but let's see um what i am fascinated in is to see what they'll end up doing with the 812 tdf version if it'll be an 812 tdf or an 812 gto whatever that might be but that will be fascinating uh, but in the meantime um i'm going to be following a couple of 812 super fast on this rally now what i haven't had yet is an opportunity to really back to back the two on a longer trip when i drive the f12 or, or certainly the f12 tdf um it just sounds in inherently a lot more raw and a lot more pure interestingly we'll be able to film the 812 from the outside while we're driving the tdf from the inside undoubtedly past some incredible rocks and mountains so we'll be able to hear the exhaust tones bounce off our environment just to compare really and see how something like that sounds compared to the tdf uh, anyway i've run you down the back of the cars let's run you down the front for a, an alternative perspective how cool is that spec i love that that's from the uk like that 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 spec genuinely is the least likely spec that you would find in in england i think that is fantastic i hopefully i can meet that guy also as well on the inside it, it's bright red leather just say tdf um you would be able to yeah i actually have to get my keys from the scrutineering team because uh, that's a process i have to go through and then i'll be able to do it uh, chances are it won't be in this video because i have to go and sign on um and i don't know actually who actually holds the keys right now which is a slightly terrifying prospect anyway let's uh take you inside and then i'll probably show you some classic cars but i'm gonna spin you around like this so this is basically how it, how it all starts. So you come in, headquarters, all rather. It's a shame. Signal here. Okay, so what I've had to do is come back outside really annoyingly because the signal sucks. So um, forget signing on anyway. It's not really 
that interesting. I just thought I'd share it with you. Let's go and check out some of the class stuff. Yeah, starting with that again. That's pretty above average, isn't it? So what will be magic about this event is we'll be tailing the likes of these cars in their modern day counterparts, which is a very special thing. And what makes it extra special is that we are retracing the actual route of the original Targa Floria. Um, man, just see my car here in Sicily. Look, here we are. It's really, really cool. It's, it's so weird seeing something so familiar so far from home. Very, very special. Anyway, let's walk up and show you some of the other cars which are on this because it's not all about the modern stuff. There's also plenty of classics as well, which is ultimately what this is about. And this is the part where I stop pretending like I know what I'm talking about. And <laughs> if, if cars were built before I was born, that's when my knowledge begins to drop off somewhat. Although having said that, there are quite a few classic Porsches here as well, which are up top over here. But yeah, this is a massive mix. Uh, all of the cars as well go off in different groups and different stages at different times. But ultimately, we're all following a, a very similar route. So we'll get to cross over paths and have the likes of an 812 Superfast and an F12 TDF following a retro Porsche. So good stuff. Ah, we've just had a Scuderia to turn up. And this is what I was referring to earlier. This is just the beginning. This is the day before. So what we've got is lots of people turning up with more cars. We just had the addition of this 430 Scuderia, a car that is very close to my heart. Uh, if you guys followed the channel back in the day, uh, you'll remember that I was a very fortunate owner of a 430 Scuderia and very unfortunately introduced it to the undergrowth of the English countryside, which uh, sadly meant it departed my garage prematurely. Anyway, here's a cool view of, uh, look at that, pretty casual fighter jet there. That's pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, and then, I mean, look, all sorts of things. Now, I don't know in what capacity that car has entered. I think it might be a uh, sort of support car. But either way, the eclectic mix of, of stuff which is being entered is amazing. Porsches, it just keeps on going and going and going. So it'll be really cool tomorrow baller very cool It'll be really cool tomorrow to see what else has turned up because that's effectively the main day so what i'm going to do is scroll through a few of your questions and see what i can answer for you um got all sorts of guys asking things uh did you film the taycan in sweden uh yeah i actually did the drive from gothenburg so the amazing thing about the Taycan launch is that it wasn't in one place. Most brands, when they launch a new car, it'll be based at a base. So it'll be based at, say, a nice hotel, and then journalists will fly in over weeks, and they'll just do exactly the same route. What Porsche did um, in order to sort of dispel the myth of range anxiety in electric cars was create a 6,440-kilometer route where journalists will come on different legs. Uh, and I did, I think it was the Oslo to Gothenburg leg. Um, yeah, very cool stuff. Uh, would I get a, so from Tom Walker, cool second name, bro. Would you get a classic Ferrari? I'd get a modern classic Ferrari, like an F40 would be cool. Um, I can't afford anything older than that. The older it gets, the more expensive it gets. So maybe one day, who knows? Let's see. Uh, hello from Morocco. Hey, how's it going? Any plans to come to Australia? Maybe, maybe. Let's see, if, if the invite is interesting enough, I will be there. Uh, what spec is your Caterham coming in? Uh, that will be unveiled very soon. Uh, I've got some really talented people who have submitted the designs thanks to the opening of the competition. Uh, I think we've narrowed it down to a few and it's, it's getting there soon. So that will be unveiled in due time. But what else have we got? Uh, coming to Dallas, I'd love to come out for the F1, but I don't have, have any plans for that right now. Sadly, I've got to calendar which is looking it's, it's a good thing calendar's looking chocker up until christmas but sadly i, I can't make that so let's see how it goes um anyway someone asked if they could see more of the tdf actually i haven't even read what's on so it doesn't get damaged or dirty keeps it nice and clean and hopefully at the end of this we're going to have some very memorable miles but also some awesome content that i can share with you guys as awesome as this car is to drive in england right now it is cold it is wet it is slippy uh so to be here now be able to 
provide much more interesting content is fantastic. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I, unfortunately, I'm not sure I can drive this car tonight because everyone's going through, as I mentioned, registration. So until I've done this and I've got my number and I've managed to put it on here, um, then tomorrow I'm going to try and go out um, and do some roads around here which aren't part of the event. And then I think the event officially starts tomorrow in the afternoon. So very cool stuff. Anyway, um, registration closes in about an hour. So I better get on with it. But uh, this was an impromptu go live session because I promised you and I guaranteed that new content would go live every Wednesday and every Saturday. And if I didn't do this, you wouldn't have it. So such is life. Actually, should I say such as embargoes? I've just been traveling for the new Aston Martin Vantage manual uh, and the new Bentley Flying Spur. Both very interesting cars, but they're under embargo. So I haven't been able to share them with you, which is why we haven't had any content right now. So. That's why I'm live anyway, but hopefully it's interesting. Let's face it, it's not every day that we're at the starting line of the Targ Florio, uh, but also great opportunity for you guys to know upfront and in advance what's happening. And then if you just listen, ask me as many questions as you can in the comments, and then that'll make for great content and feedback for you uh, when I eventually start filming properly when all of this goes live, which I cannot wait to share with you. All right, that's about it. I'm gonna go do the boring admin stuff. I uh, will read back through all of your uh, questions and, and comments here. Hopefully get back to some of them actually in the comments as well later on tonight. Yeah, that's about it. Now I'm gonna go see who's got the keys to my own car, which is kind of odd having it all the way down here and I can't have access to it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao.